Our seventh inductee is Adrian Justice Tamanini. Adrian played four years of women's soccer from 1999 to 2002 and also played two seasons of lacrosse. In soccer, she totaled 91 points on 39 goals and 13 assists, ranking fifth in both career points and goals. While in lacrosse, she had 23 goals and 15 assists in two years. She was soccer here at Village Julie. That's that's what she was, and you know she brought the team together as a family because of her personality, and and that's why we were so successful because we had players like Adrian, who could who could bring us together as a team. We just weren't 20, 21, 22 individual players and a coaching staff. We were just one big family, and that's why we did so well here at the college. Being a part of the Hall of Fame, it just it makes sense. To have her in there, she represented the college, the university, uh, better than you know anyone I could think of. Um, they all did to some extent, but when you think of her name, when you think of her and how she played uh, and who she is, it makes sense that she's part of this uh, Hall of Fame. She was always happy, always had a good attitude when she walked on the field. Didn't matter if we won or lost. She, she came off the field knowing that she, she left everything on the field that she could, and it didn't matter. As long as she knew that she came off the field mentally and physically drained, that she gave everything that, that she had on the field. Um, she's the kind of person that would step out of her way to make sure she would say hi to you, and it, it was, whether it was the coaching staff or other players or new recruits that we were bringing in, she was always there to talk to them and to meet with them and to make them feel welcomed. She's, she's first and foremost a Hall of Fame person, and that's where it starts. And then you look at what she did as an athlete, and it just complements it. But it's just one of those folks who just, as a whole, you know, able to do it all. And uh, you know, I think everyone would say they're grateful to know who she is or uh, to have played with her or to have been in school with her. Without a doubt, it, uh, someone at this school uh, should be very proud to have, to have as an alumni and a graduate. From the class of 2003, it is my honor to welcome Adrian Tamanini into the Dick Watts Athletics <laughs> Hall of Fame. Good evening, everyone. I would like to take just a minute to thank all of those that helped make this happen today. I am truly honored and humbled to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It is so amazing to be part of and see what has developed in our athletic department and school over the last 17 years since I started at Villa Julie. First, I would like to thank the athletic department for this prestigious recognition and all of those that voted for me and felt I was worthy for this. I would also like to thank and recognize my parents, Mina, who's here holding my baby, um, siblings, Shane, my brother Shane, coaches, especially Matt Biederman and Ricky Sanchez, and all my teammates um, who over the years worked all worked together in various ways to help instill the core values of what it takes to be a successful student athlete and person in general. I was taught what it means to have respect, integrity, responsibility, leadership, and sportsmanship on and off the field. I had a very strong foundation to embrace these characteristics and carry them through in all aspects of my life. For that, I am forever grateful and work hard every day to make sure my own children, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional, are guided in the very same ways that I was ever so fortunate. I would also like to congratulate all of the other inductees today. I am so humbled to be included with this amazing group of people. All of us naturally began our athletic career or role in this college wanting to leave a mark in a program and be remembered in such a positive way. So congratulations on such a job well done. 
It is amazing to me to see how Villa Julie, or Stevenson University, has changed and developed since I attended in 1999 to 2003. Although with all of these advancements, you can absolutely still feel the roots that were the foundation of such a successful environment to not only learn, but compete in. When I attended Villa Julie, was known as the name that opens doors. And now look at what those doors have opened to. The growth leaves me so amazed. The state of our facilities, the champions being developed on and off the field, and the rankings and titles held, it is so, so very exciting. What I learned at BJC, and especially and specifically on the women's athletic fields, have carried me through my entire life. I repeat it daily to my own children, no matter what, leave it all on the field. I mean this on multiple levels and with every goal one strives for. From the moment you wake up or that whistle blows, you give it your all and you go to bed at night or step off that field knowing you have no regrets to leave behind. This has also carried over with me in my career as a pediatric intensive care and recovery room nurse. The now is so precious and so important. When taking care of sick children, I give each day and each family my all and know that I have done my best in making the here and the now a little less terrible and a little more precious for these families. I am also forever grateful for my time here at, Villa, at the Villa because this is where I met my husband, Tony, also a Hall of Famer. I can finally say to my children that my face will be up there too. And because of that, we now have four amazing little soccer stars of our own. Zachary, who's nine, Colton, five, Isabella is three, and Dominic, our newest addition, four months old. It is fitting that we met on the soccer field and began our relationship supporting each other on the sidelines. We fought over which team had to practice in the cornfields and watch the horses, and which team got the game day field. Although this field didn't have lights, initially without a scoreboard, was not turf, and surrounded only by a few set of bleachers, the love was absolutely there. With the majority of a standing only crowd, we never felt we weren't in anything less than a state of the art stadium. The support helped lead my soccer team, as it was said, to the NCAA Sweet 16 tournament my sophomore year. I was privileged to play alongside some amazing women and athletes on the soccer and lacrosse field, many of which I'm still very close with and consider family. My family, along with the supportive um, community of athletes, coaches, and teachers that empowered us, made the highs of winning so much higher and sweeter and the lows of losing quite temporary. We raise our children surrounded by that feeling of a stadium-sized love and support no matter what the task at hand, ensuring that the present is oh so meaningful while building the foundation for their futures. Our goal is to exemplify many moments of excellence, integrity, learning, and community, and these should sound familiar, throughout their lives. Those very same values I took with me from my days as a student athlete here, and I'm truly excited to one day coach my own daughter and her teammates alongside a fellow Villa Julie alum. Stevenson is without a doubt impressive, but not only because of the facilities themselves, but the love that was, has went into developing all of this. I can bet the current athletes have never been asked multiple times, you go where, Villa who? But I am proudly a Villa Julie alum and now forever part of the Stevenson University legacy. Thank you.